Hello everyone, this is John from ZB. Today is Thursday, 26 November 2020. So, uh, market has been closed up uh, 14 point, closing at 1612. Uh, and uh, with a volume of 8.8 .8 billion, value is 4.6 billion. Total gain 815, total loser 412. So, uh, I'll hang around with the platform using Internet Explorer. So, if you are staying around with this video, uh, you may have a look how, how to navigate the platform using Internet Explorer. Okay. So uh, at the same time, I'll be mentioning some about something about the um, market for today and the uh, expectations for the markets coming on for next December, the next few months. And uh, I'll mention about some stocks. The stock that mentioned in this video doesn't serve as a stock picks for the investor or trader. It's just for the knowledge for my own self. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So uh, definitely today is very bullish. Huh? So uh, Ghana is all over the losers. So let's have a look on the indexes. So if you want to view listing, you go over here. So this one is the whole listing. So let's say today I'm going to see the KLCI indexes. So I double click it. So you'll ever see the leading Google's uh, top bluff bring up the index up five point and the others mover as well. And the loser public bank bring down one point of the index. So it sum up overall the 30 counters bring up the uh, index up 14 point. So um how is the market right now so let's have a look on the uh, klci indexes so let's say i right click it i go for the technical analysis so it will pop up a uh, chartings so let's have a look on this charting klci chartings is this is very important to know the overall market trend huh? so um so current stash is uh 1612 so the strong resistance is lying somewhere around uh, say 1620 1620 so um, will we break or will we touch the resistance and come back? So um, where is the floor? The floor will be somewhere around line is um, 14480, maybe somewhere around 1480, the strong support level. So uh, my expectations for the KLCI yeah, is very strong at this moment. I would more biased to the upward. Since um, the short term trend is still on the uptrend, so you can see right here the trend. How you draw the things so you can uh, have a look at. Eh? So this one is short term trend. So um, the trending is still up sloping. So at this moment, although it's still within a strong sideways consolidation box right here, which is a uh, 1480 to uh, 1620 level. So we will break the resistance 1620. Um, very positive at this moment to the KLCI. So why am um, positive? It will break the 1620. Um, because of the uh, KLCI has been uh, very bearish. Uh, during the pandemic um, sessions. So um, I will look at the KLCI indexes. So let's have a look some of the counter in the uh, indexes, 30 counters. Let's have a look on the uh, up counters. So this one is the uh, 22 counter that bring up the KLCI today. So let's have a look on the uh, the first one. Let's say Asiata. Let's have a look on the other thing. Uh. Right click, then analysis. So uh, this one is the daily chart. This one is daily. So we can change it weekly or monthly. So um, Normally, I look at the uh, chart using the uh, the basic chartings, candlesticks, and the uh, volume. The more simple, the more better to me. So, um, do you think um, Asiata is now already up a lot from two two seventy to three forty? Is it a lot? So it more or less of a uh, thirty percent for the bottoms for the recent for the, for the past one month. So um. So normally people would say uh, it's already risen a lot. I wouldn't want to jump in for these type of counters. Um, if we change a view, we change the view in a longer term from daily to weekly. Let's have a look. Wow, 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 wow. You, you can see that. Is Asiata has been rising a lot? No. <laughs> you can see that it's risen from 270 to 2340. So if, when you zoom up to see a bigger picture, actually you see it dropped from 550 to the 3 something. Is it a discount to you? So over the two two years, two to three years. So is it a discount to you? So it's a matter of how you see the short term, medium term, or long terms. So in my point of view, it's pretty interesting at this moment uh, for Asia task. So recently this type of counters is rebounding, bring up the KLCI. Is it enough to bring KLCI higher? Would it go higher to four ringgit or four fifty? So let's say it did rebound. It's going to rebound to 450. So when would it be for the KLCI? Okay. So let's close for this one. Let's have a look on the CRB. 
Sam B also has been risen a lot recently. So this one is the this one is the daily chart first. So it's risen from two ninety somewhere around two ninety to three ninety. Wow, wow, it's one ringgit. One ringgit is uh, more or less thirty over percent. Uh. Thirty over percent is quite a lot over the short terms. Let's have a look on the weekly chart. Weekly chart. This one is the weekly chart. Wow, it's dropped from seven ringgit to three something. It's how many percent was it? More than fifty percent. More than fifty percent. Uh. So when we see a bigger pictures. It start rebounding with a volume at the bottom. So, is this a bottom? When you look at the picture at the longer term, is this a bottom? We don't know. In fact, I, I don't know. I would say I don't know, but I strongly believe it's more likely a bottom. So normally people seeing things in a short term. When you look at the chart in the daily charts, so. You have a feeling that it's going to rise a lot. I wouldn't want to chase it. Um, I I only a trader for short term trader. I wouldn't love to hold the stocks. So it it depends. Every investor or trader have their own view. So if you are investing for long term, would you buy in? When you look at this chart, weekly chart, it's already dropped from seven bit to three something. So is it cheap, or you are expecting cheaper? I don't know what's your view. So in my point of view, it's very cheap at this moment. So let's go on. Okay. Um. Dialogue. Dialogue. Okay. Dialogue is very interesting. It's been rising a lot. Okay. This one is daily chart. Sideways consolidation is moving all the way sideways. Since man, how how many months? Six months. Nearly six months. So we look at a longer time frame. Go to the weekly. So this one is more interesting. So it's been sideways for very long. You know. So it's definitely it will break somewhere. Break higher, four ringgit, or it will break lower to three sixty somewhere around three sixty support level. So once it breaks, it comes in a strong trend. So another point of view is when you are looking at current market conditions, the interest rate is very low. OPR is only one point seven five percent. So do you think? It will go lower. It's very unlikely. I would say it's very unlikely it will go lower for the interest. So when the interest is very low, the money will seek for a place to parking for higher return. Okay, definitely money will look for the higher return one. So let's have a look on the next counters DG. So DG definitely the same similar to the Asia Tala what we see right now just now. So this one is daily is rebounding from three eighty to four twenty. So ten percent plus. We zoom out to see a weekly longer time frames. So this one is the longer time frame. It's drop. So attractive. It doesn't drop much as per the uh, SLT, but it's still attractive. So Genting Malaysia. Uh, this is uh more interesting. Genting Malaysia during pandemics they are closing down. So so it's been rising from two ringgit to two sixty. Thirty percent, you know, thirty percent within one month. thirty uh, percent. So. Would you chase it? Definitely, many people would not. Uh, I wait for it come down first. I wait for it come down first. Only I buy in. So this one is the daily chart. Let's say we're switching it into a weekly. Wow, you can see that uh, back into twenty eighteen, from all the way five hundred something, it's dropped already more than fifty percent. More than fifty percent. So, is it a bargain buy to you? To me, it's very attractive. Very attractive. So Genting, Genting is more or less the same as uh, Genting Malaysia. So um, daily chart rebounding as well. How many percent? One, two, three, thirty one percent. So uh, we zoom up to weekly. Wow, you see, you see the charting uh, is drop a lot, more than fifty percent. So would you investing into this type of companies? This one is blue chip, you know. Um, do you think Genting will close down, or if you are only allowed to uh, travel to the to the Malaysia? Um, right now, you can't travel overseas, right? So where's the best place? The first place you think thinking of when you are going to uh, travel locally, good thing, right? Right, good thing. So that's why, when whenever people thinking of want to travel locally, the first place they are going would be the good things. So glove, I'm not not going to look at. It's already uh, risen a lot. Okay, um, Hong Leong Bank. So let's have a look on the Hong Leong Bank. So it's rebounding a lot from 14 to 18. 
So um, so it dropped from 30 over ringgit. So it started rebounding, you know. So it's already forming an uptrend. It's already forming an uptrend. Huh? So you can draw all the lines all by yourself. It's already forming an uptrend. So let, if you want to draw a downtrend line, it's already break the downtrend. So currently, it's a healthy uptrend for banking. Okay. So uh, let's have a look what counter else. Um, maybe we have a look on the TM. TM is also a uh, telecommunication, so it's risen a lot recently as well. Uh, maybe it's due to the uh, Panjana's uh, budget 2020, 2021st. Okay, so it brings up a lot for telecoms. So we zoom up. So this one is also impact for during the pandemic from 650 drop over to 250. So it's starting to rebound the covering. So when are you going to buy? At which level? Are you going to buy at uh, 5 ringgit? Or you, you are going to buy when it goes back to uh, 6 ringgit something? So you need to ask yourself which level you want to buy. So at current stage, KLCI, is it attractive to you? So I would say it's very attractive to me. So you can see a lot of counters, it's very cheap. Let's say um, I'm going to touch about the... Uh, this is not a stock again. This is not a topic. I repeat again. This is not a topic. Just a case study. We're looking at the uh, technical analysis um, in point of view of the chartings. So, Parini. So, uh, when I went to the uh, Parini shopping uh, for last week, I, mean, I did go over there to buy some clothes as well. So, Parini, uh, there is very, very less volume of customer walking in, in JB, uh, I would say in JB. Maybe the location I go over there is uh, way less crowd. So maybe in KL, there will be more crowd. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, let's have a look on the chartings. Padini. Wow, wow. You see, Padini is present, you know. How many percent? 30 over percent from 2 ringgit to 260, right? 30 percent within one month. So this one is the daily chart. We zoom out. We zoom out, eh? Zoom out to uh, see a weekly chart, longer duration. So it's dropped a lot, you know. From six ringgit to two something. So, when you are looking at the daily chart, you have a feeling that wow, it's rising a lot. Nah. I don't feel like to uh, buy in at this moment. Wait for it come down first. Wait for it come down first. But you will never know will it come down or not. When you change your mind to see a picture, uh, in a bigger pictures, longer durations, longer time frame, you will see, wow. When when I compare the charting, it's dropped six ringgit to two ringgit. Should I buy in? I should ask a different question. Do, is it uh, attractive at this moment? It's very attractive, you know. How many percent is, has been dropped? More than 60%? Right? Okay. It's very attractive. So it's starting the consolidation sideways. So this is a place that you can uh, positioning your portfolio for long term. For long term. So I'm not saying it will not drop. I'm not the god of stocks. I'm not Warren Buffett, I'm not Soros, but in my point of view, when we look at the stocks in a longer duration, longer time frame, it delivers uh, stronger pictures, stronger feeling to us, whether it's worth to invest at this moment. Okay, so recently I do have a, uh, saw that um, some of the oil and gas counter is moving, so uh, it potentially the uh, market is going to break 16, 20 level. That's why I'm mentioning today. Uh, so that's the. So I'm foreseeing the KLC is going to break. So when would it goes? When would it goes? Okay, this one is a short term daily chart, right? So I draw the line of 16, 20, and I draw the support level somewhere. Uh, okay, somewhere around here, uh, 1480 uh, somewhere around. So let's zoom out. I can minimize the charting right over here. I minimize and then uh, I adjust some things. So, this one is the strong resistance right over here. It's testing many times. Well, it's testing many times uh, 1600, 1620. This level is very strong. It's very high chance it will replace. But when you are checking on the all the KLCI index components, so are they in a low range? You need to ask yourself. Are those components in the low range or high range level? So if you think all those KLCI components is at a low range, so the chances it, it will break 1620 is 
very high. I'm talking about probability. Yeah. So let's have a look on the weekly chart. I changed daily to the weekly. So, so this one is the resistance. Test meeting time. When when this thing change, when the index managed to stand up, you will move further. You will move further. How many points? How many points can it go? If we are using the daily chart to project it, so we are talking about um, projections in terms of chart things. So how how do we project the things? Where will it go for? So we are taking the resistance calculators. Resistance was 620. So minus of the support level, 1480. So the gap is about 140 points. Okay, 140 points. Once it breaks the resistance level, 1620. So you will jump the similar projections of 140 points on top of 1620. So I need to add it up 140 to 1620. This one is the projection for the next level, resistance level. 1760. So 1760. Let's have a look on the weekly chart. Where is the 1760 level? Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Right? So the last time when it start to run, it's all the way from here to here. So if you are more conservative. So the next level, you can check back the resistance level. The previous resistance level is somewhere around 1700. 1700, the next resistance. If you are not using the projections from the uh, sideways consolidations, you need to check back where is the previous resistance level. So technically, we have uh, 80 points upside toward the uh, 1700 from 1620 level in my point of view so um just to share my view for upcoming trending for the klci i believe december will be a bullish as well toward the end of years um maybe early next year as well so um i hope you enjoy this video thank you very much and goodbye